Let's take a look at the trees today. We had a storm come through a while ago. It was blowing so hard it about blew the rocking chairs off the front porch. Let's take a look at this red cedar tree. Ordinary looking cedar uh, boughs, right? Now let's look at the one up there in the front of the property. It has little berries all over it. What's the difference? Are they male and female trees? It's so infested with berries when you look at it from a distance. It has a green haze to it. I gotta get out here pretty soon with my limb loppers and trim off some of these limbs. Some of them hit me in the head when I'm coming by on my riding lawnmower. This street here, I did have two of them. One of them blew over. I always called it a silver maple. That's what it was sold to me as. The back side of the leaves are kind of silver looking. And when the wind blows a certain way, the tree changes color to a silver looking tree. The other tree blew down. I thought we'd look, walk around the property a little bit and just look at the various trees, bushes. Now this was a red tip hedge bush. When we first moved on this property in 83, it was about two feet high. And it was growing up there about where my expedition is. But when I started building my house, I didn't want to lose the red tips, so I dug four of them up, transplanted them down here by the driveway, and these two live. And they're just virtually out of control. They're huge. Cars drive up my driveway. I have to drive through a kind of a built-in tunnel where I cut all the limbs and stuff off. I get a kick out of delivery trucks when they come up here scraping the limbs. They keep them trimmed for me. This tree here is a, I don't know, a water oak or some kind of oak. It's not red oak. I need to learn the differences in oak trees. I dug this tree up about four feet tall down on our neighbor's property. He said, take it home, plant it, it'll grow. And he was right. My only problem with this tree was I planted it too close to the driveway and certain times of the year we just covered up with acorns. The cedar trees that I have here, they were all dug up out in the woods and planted here. I didn't, I didn't go out and buy them. I just dug up a little shrub out in the woods and planted them. My pecan tree out here doing fairly well when the squirrels won't haul off all the goodies. I can look and see if my poison oak that I killed yesterday last year has come back. Yep, still got some poison oak down here. I should bring my sprayer out here and get them. On this oak tree I got boo coodles of limbs to cut off. Actually, I probably should cut all the way back to the trunk and just eliminate the whole limb. That would be the easiest. Trim that trunk back. Oh, a good five or six limbs. That would eliminate all of this low-hanging stuff. Take a look at it. It's a hibiscus plant I planted a month or so ago. It's doing really good. Hey Froggy, we got to trim our azalea bushes back, should have already done it. So we're going to make blooms next year and now's the time to trim them back. They're getting out of control. My butterfly bushes are doing fantastic. Planted these this year. Bought them at Home Supply Place and they were little shrubs about this big that look completely dead. In fact, they were on the discount shelf. They thought they were dead and they sold them to me for three dollars. But they're doing wonderful.
we're going to walk out here. Like I say, virtually every tree on this property is volunteer. That oak tree there came up on its own. Some of these I should have cut down and I didn't. Got a couple of volunteer trees that came up here. One there, but it's so high over my head I can't reach. Let's come down here and look at this one. Now, I know what kind of tree this is. That's why I didn't cut them down. They're right on the property line. They have a really pretty leaf. How many people know what kind of tree that is? I'll give you a hint. It's got some berries on there. Not ripe yet. But they get ripe. There's one that's half ripe. Almost looks like a blackberry. Can you guess what kind of tree those are? I'm going to cut that limb off. It's not doing good at all. If you haven't guessed, I'll tell you. It's a mulberry bush. You don't see them all that often around here. Why it came up here, I don't know. But we can come out here and dance around the mulberry bush anytime we want. My apple trees. Here's an apple on the ground. I'm sure I don't know how to tend apple trees. It's not very big. Lots of apples on the ground. They don't grow very big unless you take care of these apple trees. That's an apple tree over there. It hasn't made any fruit yet. Comes in later in the year. I'm sure these would be good apples if you fertilized and sprayed them. They just don't get very big when you don't water them. There's a lot of limbs on that tree. I need to limb it up some. Trying to think of the name of that one. It's a fast growing tree. Little burrs grow on it all the time. I guess this one here is a cottonwood tree. I don't know. This pecan tree here is a wild one. It makes pecans, but not very good. Mater bushes got maters. More maters. Better than here. Plenty of blooms. Not as big this year, or they got plenty of time to grow. Good golly molly, look at that clump of tomatoes. And that plant ain't big at all. This one here is getting on close to four feet tall. This is going to be picking some majors for long. I'm over here to show you something. What was it? Oh, I don't know the name of this bush. It's wild. I guess I could look it up. Growing around my gas tank. But, uh, we got some trumpet vines growing on here. little bush right here and where those are blueberries there's one I could eat mm -hmm. that's a good blueberry 